Hello YouTube, this is a review of the uh, the Bose Wave music system. Uh, I've had this system for well, about a year and a half now. I got it in October of 2009. Um, and so far I've been pretty impressed with it. Uh, it works really well, I find. It's got some uh, great volume and, um, you know, well, there's a few little things that I'm uh, not so crazy about. Um, I'll just uh, give you a quick demo of how she sounds. So you got this little, this handy little remote here. Um, and it, it works pretty well. All you have to do is press a button. So that's the radio there. And uh, the only problem I find with it is that it uh, doesn't have doesn't have very good reception. I mean, I'm down in the basin here. As you can see, it's just my little office here. A little, uh, you know, little work office. And I have it in here just to listen to when I'm at work. And um, so, yeah, it's got kind of poor reception, especially with uh, some of the other channels, I find. It's not, see, like, a, you can hear there, it's not, it's not, the reception isn't very good. That's mostly due to being in the basement, I'm sure, but still, I just wanted to note it. Um, I also got the optional uh, uh, iPod input. Um, it works actually really well. The only problem is, uh, here's my iPhone, I, got an, I have a new iPhone 4, and for some reason it's not compatible with the, uh, with the iPod dock, so I have to use my old one. So this one's pretty cool, you can just use uh, the button here on the remote, it just has a little, uh, get this to focus now, it has a little button of an iPod, you just press that, and there you go. See it works pretty well, and you can control the functions from over here, so if you're sitting down somewhere, just change the song pretty, pretty easily. And it works pretty well. Yes, yes, I know you're hungry. Ah, and here comes dinner. Feel my Frankenstein. So as you can see, that's pretty. That's some pretty clear sound coming out of a box. It's only about this size. I mean, you know, there's a uh, fifth generation iPod for reference. And you know, it's only that big. So it's a, it's a pretty good working little machine. And uh, this iPod dock too is pretty handy. Char it charges your iPod uh, and lets you play it. So you can control it from the remote or you can just control it from over here. That's just some French comedy there. And uh, so, yeah, that's that. It works pretty well. Another cool feature that I, I only noticed this uh, when the power went off. It's pretty cool. I'll just give you a demo. So if you just unplug the cord, see, of course it's off now. You plug it back in, and it keeps track of the time. So you never have to reset the clock when the power goes off. See? All I have to do is, uh, it takes a little while to start up, and uh, then you're clearing away. So I mean, this thing works pretty. This would work pretty well as somebody's, uh, as somebody's, uh, you know, as somebody's uh, alarm clock or something like that. That would work pretty well. Uh, it works pretty well on my application. If only I had better reception, I'd be happier. Uh, but all in all, I mean, it's a good little machine, and I'm quite satisfied with it. Uh, I didn't get the uh, the optional three disc changer because I mean my attitude is well first of all I never play CDs in it anyway I don't really know anybody who listens to CDs anymore but you can all listen to one at a time anyway right so I mean you know if that's what you like if you if you like to listen to CDs I don't see why but I mean you could get the optional uh, three disc changer. I think that's an extra hundred and some odd dollars. Now, I'll do it, I think this thing costs about four hundred dollars. I mean, that, that's getting pretty pricey for a little machine. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but you know, I, I pay as much for this for my sound system over here for my computer, and it's 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 five point one surround sound with a with a, with a subwoofer. I mean, that that you know, the, the sound can't be can't be compared. I mean, that's a little that's a little box, whereas this is this is a full full big machine. I mean, you know, it's a uh, but anyway, all in all, if you guys are looking at buying this as an alarm clock, I know my aunt has it as an alarm clock, she likes it, uh, or just as a radio, it works great. So uh, certainly I would recommend it, but just, I try to avoid using it in the basement, because as you can hear, the reception isn't too good. But anyway, 
I uh, hope this was helpful in helping you decide what you wanted to buy. Um, and yeah, I mean, a lot of people think that Bose is just overpriced, uh, overpriced equipment, but you know, I've bought a few Bose things. I have a Bose sound system for my television upstairs. I'm happy with it. Um, I mean, it might be a bit expensive, but I always say I'm, I'm of the attitude that you get what you pay for, and you know, I, I like Bose. I've never had bad products from them, so I would certainly, uh, I'd certainly buy something else from them. And I have bought things since. I've bought these computer speakers, and you know, I'm happy with them too. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful, and uh, talk to you guys later.